Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield, and it's really good to be with you today on this program. I want to talk to you today about Genesis chapter 6. There was a lot of wickedness going on in the earth in this chapter. In Genesis 6, number 1, as I read to you, and it came to pass when the men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. And verse number two says that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Satan's angels are called the sons of God in this setting. They are believed to be fallen angels that took on a human form, and out of a perverted lust, they seduced the women. Now, this is somewhat of a uh, discussion in the Bible, a lot of times about the sons of God, we know the sons of God presented himself before Job and before God when he was tempting Job. And these were described as uh, fallen angels. And they are such things as fallen angels. They become the sons of men. They're called that. Uh, they were fallen angels and they uh, got involved with the women. And as a result, there was giants in the land, and there was uh, much wickedness going on at that time. Uh, these uh, God has set aside a special judgment for these fallen angels. In Second Peter chapter 4 and 5, it says, For if God did not spare the angels who sinned, uh, but delivered them, but cast them down into hell, and delivered them into the chains of darkness to be reserved for judgment, and did not spare the ancient world, but saved Noah and the eight other people. And then it goes on to say there that also Sodom and Gomorrah is, in, uh, is included in this, how God wiped them out uh, because of sin, because of terribleness of sin that was going on in the world. Again, in Jude 6, let's look at that. And the angels who did not keep their proper domain, but left their abode, he has reserved an everlasting chains under darkness in the judgment for that great day. In Genesis chapter 6 and 3, God said, And my spirit shall not always strive with men forever. He goes on to say that uh, the life would be reduced to 120 years. Uh, they used to live up to 900 years of age, average lifespan, and then their lifespan was going to be reduced to about 120 years. And that's what it is with God today. God is saying to all of us, God is not going to strive with men forever. God will deal men with a certain time, you know, and God, by his mighty grace, is going to help us if we'll follow him. In Genesis 6 and 5, And the Lord saw that the wickedness was great on the earth, that every intent and every thought was on evil continually. And the Lord was grieved and decided to destroy men off of the face of the earth. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord and in his family and his children, and they found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And the Lord instructed Noah to build an ark, and the ark Noah built was believed to be about 450 feet long, about 75 feet wide, and about 45 feet high, so it took him a long time. Some writers believe it took him up to 100 years to get this built, uh, and he kept telling them it was going to rain, but they did not believe him. God said, I will bring flood waters to destroy everything upon the earth. But God made a covenant with Noah, Noah, you shall go into ark, you and your sons, your wife, your son's wife, and they were to bring a male and females of every kind, animals, birds, and every creeping thing to live with them on that ark uh, for all the time it was going to rain. And I pulled up Matthew 24, 37, but Jesus said these words, as it was in the day of Noah, so shall it be by the coming of the Lord of man. Conditions in the world will be similar to the same thing when Jesus comes back to this world, that the thoughts and the intents of man was up on evil continually. Folks, I want to tell you that a great flood occurred there, and we'll find in the next chapter some of those things that happened when it began to rain. But just be sure that we all need to be ready and have Jesus in our life. And I appreciate you listening to this program today.